No, no, those are not my words. That's probably um, a Russian way of promoting. Uh, uh, yeah, but I, I yes, yeah, but uh, it's. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice for my ego, but I, I never said that myself. I would never say that. No. Yeah. Well, you know, um, it's um, there is a word now, and it's called globalization. And I think this word for music is not so bad. Because things are more, much more open now. I mean, uh, thanks to the internet, we have access to so much music, and because of this, that um, some great fusions, musical fusions, uh, emerge. Um, and um, so I think, I'm, and I'm talking about creative music. I'm not talking about commercial music and. And you know that's another thing. That's that, that's maybe me too. I, I wouldn't probably not even talk about music. I want you know, to know about uh, serious music. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if we talk about creative music, then um, I think this is a great time. I'm not so. I'm not so. Um, um, I'm, I'm a quite positive person anyway, and I think um, uh, a lot of st interesting stuff is going on because um, next to playing like trio, solo, piano. I love to go to countries and do fusions with traditional music, and I do this all over the world. I've from I've been now to uh, uh, 115 countries, 115. That's quite a lot, and a big chunk of those countries are countries where I've done like um, uh, crossover fusion, you name it. So, so it can be um, uh, Kazakhstan or Bolivia, Vietnam, many countries in Africa. And so, and, and thanks to the internet and everything, you can prepare very well. And so I think it's, um, I think there's a lot of uh, nice stuff going on um, in that respect. If, if we talk about jazz and, um, um, and let's say, I mean, I'm still young, but of course there's a generation below me. I'm not the youngest generation. And there is, um, so, you know, at all the jazz schools, all the, the music faculties and everything. Uh, um, then also, I call them the YouTube generation. They are YouTube generation. And that's great, but sometimes the danger is a little bit that for them there is so much to play from and to choose from that the musical essence sometimes misses. Sometimes misses. So I hear a lot of young people playing technically incredible and they can play anything and great and I mean when I hear 20 year old uh, students playing jazz or whatever I go like wow when I was 20 I didn't have those technical skills but at the same time sometimes musically I miss things because they are only like playing from all the YouTube here YouTube you know it's very fragmentary sometimes so, so that's the uh, scattered scattered that's the word so that's sometimes uh, a little bit so, so the internet has um, a good side, and um, it's not a bad side, but uh, you have to be careful a little bit. Yes, 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 I do, I do. And um, I'm, you know, um, I've said this before in interviews, the only thing which does not surprise me is that I'm going to be surprised. I mean, everywhere I go, I, I meet incredible musicians, and not in both in jazz, in, in uh, classical music, but also traditional folk, and I love folk music. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, but sometimes it can be. Uh, uh, are you saying it in Russian? Ujasna too. Eh? <laughs> It has to be in the hands of the good people. Like, I was in Tuva, I love Tuva, in Kizil, I've been there twice. And I, it's with the, the Gavonyi Perli, the, 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 the throat singing, the... Yeah, oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. And I know, yeah, and, so, and that's a beautiful, uh, a beautiful culture they have. It's fantastic. But then, there was one person there who made a CD with like, you know, and I go like, oh, no, 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 that's not, 
So trying to be commercial. Yeah, I don't think so. No, but it, it's like it's like what they try. You know, they think I, we have to become commercial, and um, so I think that's um, uh, and and it, but but the, the the tragic side of this is that. I know why people do it, because everywhere in the world it's the same. Wherever I go and travel and meet uh, traditional folk musicians, the big danger is that that music is dying, because the young generation only wants to listen to pop and house and whatever. So they are trying to preserve the music. And so it's also a kind of a fear that is going, that's, that is dying. So, um, and that's the same everywhere in the world. Traditional music is a little bit in danger. Well, yeah, it's, it's not so easy to answer. If you talk about, like I said before, about, I mean, now the jazz schools everywhere in the world, it's so big. Thousands and thousands of students playing incredible. But what they have to say, I don't know yet. That's something in 10 years we know. If, if they're really going to take the music to another level, to something new. And um, uh, I always, look, I search myself for people who have something to say. That's what I want, you know, to, to really communicate and um, not only play complicated music, but also like the essence of a good melody and things like that, you know, that's, that's uh, a search for people like that. Yes, yeah, beautiful and meaningful, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, you know, it's like, it's also a bit like, almost like a spiritual thing. If you kind of search for it, you will run into those people. You, you encounter them because you search for it. So you want that to be on your path, so you meet them. That's, that's how I, yeah, you know, it's, it's also because you created yourself meeting those people. And I think there are a lot of people who say great things, oh so yes. It's a good question, because, and you know, um, I have mixed feelings. On one hand, I believe there will always be something new. Always. New ideas, of course. I mean, I mean, 400 years ago when there was Johann Sebastian Bach, you know, which is music from other planets, you know, you think, what, what else can happen? And 400 years later, there's incredible other music. So I believe it will always will be something new. But the quality? I don't know. <laughs> the quality? I, I don't know. Because um, uh, the question is also a little bit like, what's real music now? Huh? Uh, if it's all... Uh, uh, but if, if it's creative, yeah, I mean... Here, like for instance, now there is Snarky Puppy, you know, the band, and it's like a new, fresh sound. Yeah, you got like see, there are always people who, who invent new things. So if it comes to creative music, I think yeah, I don't know if it's going to be the same level as classical music, as uh, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, or Keith Jarrett, or people like I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't know if that's coming uh, back. I'm, 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 I'm positive. So I don't know if there will be so many, but I'm 100% I'm sure that every now and then an amazing new spirit will show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe that. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I get this question more often and no, 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 no. It's not a, no, 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 no. It's not a stupid question not at all. No, no. Um, um, I, I get, you know, I've played from South Argentina to North Japan. I've been to more than a hundred countries, and um, it's like, it's a bit. It really depends a little bit on the culture. On a on a human level, when you at least try to play something beautiful, what I always love to do. Not only technique, but I love to play nice melodies and try to touch people. Then 
either even in Japan, people can be very emotional about it, you know. But the, the, the difference is how do they express? So in Japan, they go, you know, in Japan they go like, and maybe they, they do like this. Mm -hmm. And like when you're in Argentina, you go, you, you play one note, and they go like, oh, you know, it's like that, you know, <laughs> it's that. So it's a cultural thing too. But people take it in, and um, the Western, I think, I think. Okay, I play a lot in Russia, and people here are fantastic. People love music. There was a big soul thing here, you know. That's there is unfortunately. Um, I always try, when I talk to people in the West, I always say, um, you know, we have the wrong picture about Russia because there are some. I mean, here in Russia, once you have a friend, it's for life. People are very. Um, um, warm and, and in the beginning sometimes they can be a bit like maybe it's because of your history you know people can be a bit closed there's always sometimes a language uh, problem and then but once they open their heart it's your it's fantastic it's a great audience and um, and uh, yeah, I think it's great and in the Western world the Western world is, I mean it's a bit old now of course it's much more but but uh, you know what I mean um, um, I think people are more spoiled there are more, because there's so much going on and there's a bit this arrogance too. And that's what I don't find here so much. When I play here, especially when I play, I mean, I play a lot in Siberia and smaller cities in Russia. And people are so uh, grateful that you come and play there and make all these long trips because, because this is such a big place. So when you fly to Kurgan or Kemerova or to Barnaul or Tomsk, you know, far away, people really are happy that you come there. You know, and they're so warm and it's beautiful. I, I love it. So uh, I think it's. Uh, I, I love to be in this country, really. Yeah. You too. Wordsfield <laughs> project is great because um, it's always nice to have it, to, to 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 be interviewed, but uh, it's really nice to talk to someone who really um, has creative questions and not only the blah blah like, do you like Russia and. Uh, did you see the Kremlin and all those questions? You know, it's really this is uh, uh, these are in my uh, in my uh, intelligent interviews. So please interview as many musicians as possible and create a big library because it's important for the audience and the people to know what r musicians will think, really think, and not only that they say, oh, the Red Square is nice.